with another DJ Roberto bear review bear today. Review. Again, bear reviews. Why why are we reviewing bears? That's that's Today we've got the polar bear, the nice white arctic bear of the We're killing the them arctic. with all of our emissions. You got to say bear reviews, not bear reviews. That's gonna There's throw only things. one Pauls can do only bear reviews. That's true. So, we've got a beer from where Dogfish Head Craft Brewery out of Milton, Delaware, U.S. of A. Yay, yay! What's that mean we're doing today? That means we're going to do some red, white, and beer! No, it means we're going to go local! Because they're close enough. You know, but mm -hmm. we're doing red, white, and beer! That's right. Oh, local. 2014, we got, yes? Red and white. And I said beer because it's not <coughs> blue. So, oh. it is oh, a... Oh, shit! Drink beer. <laughs> Woohoo! Here, let me mop it up with some non... <laughs> Mm, that's good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Waste not, what not. Forget the hummus. Damn, that's the bad boy. Exploded out of the bottle. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Here, so, oh, thank you. That's good. <laughs> Lunchtime. Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. this is a wet beer. Yep. It's available rotating. <laughs> rotating. It's 10% ABV explosion out of the bottle. It had an orgasm, beer guys and me. That shows you one thing. You never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates, like Forrest Gump said, when you sell her beer. You know, you're going to have to bleep that out because you're going to have to, like, give them some money. Oh, that's uh, right. 35 IBUs. I can smell, well, I'm tasting the orange, the mm -hmm. coriander, orange peel, and pinot, pinot, nor jugo, juice. Portion of this oak is aged in... White oak, basically oak barrel staves, 89%, 11% in the Pinot Noir barrels. Mm -hmm. So, let's get a look at this monstrosity of a beer guys. It's a ruddy kind of amber-orange color. Yep. It had a monstrous <laughs> head on it, but that's gone away really quickly. We'll do I, that in slow motion. Is this bottle condition? I don't remember, but... I don't think so. I don't think it is. A lot of them, I don't think they bottle condition many of their beers. It's got about a eighth of a finger ahead, but when you swirl it, you get tons of alcohol legs on it. And look at that. That's a beautiful looking brew in the glass. But beautiful glass. Too. Yes. Since it's been in oak barrels and all that kind of stuff, it's got to smell good too, especially with all them adjuncts in it. So let's dive in for the aroma. Ooh, very fruity. Fruity yes. pebbles. Very vinous. I'm amazed that the orange has held on that long. This got by the time recording. There's four years on this beer. I, I mean, there, there's the Pinot Noir mm. wine, yes. definitely in the background. The coriander and the orange just pop. I mean, for a four-year-old beer, I mean, it's bright and up in your face. Yeah. I, I don't get any phenolic alcohol on it no, at all. No. All the aromas are really like integrated too. Yeah. Fuck that. Let's drink. <laughs> Oh, wordy dirties. Cheers. Let's just drink this. Mm. Damn. Wow. Fruity. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry. I smelled fruity pebbles. I'm tasting fruity pebbles. Yep. <laughs> um, wow. It's like fruity pebbles and Pinot Noir wine had yeah. a baby, and they created this beer. The 10% is crazy hidden. Mm. There's no no warming of the chest, no, no. booze taste. I mean, wow. You, you mm. get the barrel, the oak barrel. I, I'm, I mean, I'm almost thinking it, it's mm. got some time in a bourbon barrel. It's uh, Yeah, it's I got mean, a bourbon-y taste, yeah. right? I get a lot of vanilla. Maybe that's what it is. Like it pulled a lot of vanillin out of those barrel staves. Oak barrel staves. Wow. Mm. Super duper smooth. It's got a real dry finish to it, like Pinot Noir wine does, but it's crisp. Yep. Wow. If you drank this, man, you wouldn't know that this is a four year old beer. So, so what other old beer that we had that would this remind you of that we kind of orgasm beer gas them out on? Begins with a white and ends with an oak. Oh yeah. That's right. <laughs> this is kind of reminding me of Wow, this is, I've yep. never had this before, so we're, you know, we're Way four years from the behind. Group. Now, so. a few days ago, or a few couple weeks ago, when I was at, at Dogfish Head, I had a 2016 version of this. I said, damn, that's tasty. The next time I get with the stud trigger, we got to hit this, because I know he digs the wine, too. Yep. But 
this is definitely like a wine drinker's really like refined brew. And when I drink it, I, it, it reminds me of like a Belgian real, yes. like a, full a on Belgian, Belgian beer. beer. It's got those like scrubbing it. bubbles, of course, just like a lot of cellar Belgian beers that exploded yeah, out of the freaking like, bottle. The Belgian yeast is definitely mm. in there for a wit beer. This beer is freaking dangerous. I mean, you could sit here and crush it without a problem. Well, uh, we, we could. Maybe not you, but wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's an apple-y taste almost, too. There's apple. Green, mm -hmm. a little bit of green apple. Green apple. You, you know that Jolly Rancher green apple out there? Exactly. Kind of got that. <laughs> Make a little green apple vodka. <laughs> but it's, you got vanilla, you got the Pinot Noir wine, you got that green apple, like Christmas. It's it's like a really like fresh beer. Like, and yes. it's four years old. Yep. And fresh that I had this once in a tasting, I remember it being boozy, and there's no hint of booziness no. at all in this beer. No. If you got went too you know too fast on this, you go night night for sure. <laughs> but wow, nice. that's, that's great. It that's great. It so now truth be told, only the untapped grade is for the year 2014. 2014. Beer advocate is that we're going to give you is a cumulative grade, and we're even even <clears> though <throat> even though Dogfish Head now asked Rate Beer a few a while ago to <laughs> remove all their beers from that. We're going to give it to you just the same because uh, that's how we roll. Yeah. So, so go for it. Our friends over at Rate Beer, okay, Beer Advocate gave it an 88. B plus. And U, um, U <laughs> UBT. UBT, where is he? Uh, He's living that bachelor life. <laughs> gave it a one, a two, a three, point eight two caps, not stars. Um, that's high A minus to A for those guys for yeah. sure. And and it, it, we're mm. looking at it, drinking it fresh back then. So this is a totally different beer. Well, uh, the, the untapped grade is is their cumulative for oh, oh. the 2014. But but oh, uh, untapped oh, actually okay. gives see, you the see, year. See, see. Okay. Yeah, they don't. My fault. I wasn't listening mm. to quid pro quo. You see that? What do you think about it, Johnny? So I really dig this beer because oh. it's kind of first time having it and it's just one of these you know something that wow pops out you know something old you know it's got great flavor great smell it's sellers like a chip yeah. um i would definitely buy this and and i would sell her this uh you know a fresh 2018 18 version of this so um i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna give it a 92 I like that that much. Is that now is that an A for you or an A minus? That's on border between A minus and A. Uh huh. I'm gonna go 95, and the reason I'm going A, solid A, is because I've had this many years, and this is the best tasting version of it that I've had. I've had it fresh. I've had 2016, and I think maybe it. <laughs> it goes really good with. Maybe garlic knot. A, tw a 2012, and it's good for dunking as well. But I think this is cellared like a freaking champ. If you got one of these in your cellar, don't fear. It's tasting damn good. Some really good garlic flavor. Oh, wait, that's the bread. <laughs> so, all right, let's talk about some important stuff here. If you have had Dogfish Head Craft Breweries, red and white, any year, whatever it is, let us know. No, yeah. Let us. Wait, hold on a minute. We'll correct that. Oh, so I gave it a 90. 92. 92. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what would that be for you? Well, that would be uh, like an A minus. <laughs> Let us know what you know, because I like the quid pro quo, and he likes the back and forth. Also, if you could do us a big favor and think globally and drink locally, Local. we're, we're getting it done. Look, the hat, the bottles. Yeah, my hat. Um, I, mean, I, I got reading glasses. <laughs> Support here. that craft beer movement. Also, if you could do us a big favor and rate, comment, subscribe, and maybe consider kind of smashing that like button because that, along with eh, definitely one bottle of this, especially with that awesome taste, will put our big ass happy face on. So the next DJ Brew 2, we got nothing but a hell of a bunch of red and white 2014. And beer. Red, hmm? white, and beer. Oh, red, white, and beer drinking love for you. And you know what's coming. That's right. A big ass. Peace out.